Hey everyone, so tomorrow Sony's announcing a successor to the Sony Xperia XA Ultra. So I want to do a video on the original XA Ultra. And we're going to do a comparison here versus another Ultra phone, the HTC U Ultra. So let's get started with putting both these phones on. Now guys, it's very important to note that the HTC U Ultra costs around three times as much. So no, this is not a fair comparison and it's not really supposed to be. Um, you know, this is just kind of a way of saying if you own the XA Ultra, how much faster is HCU Ultra? Um, you know, is it worth paying three times as much for the HCU Ultra? So yeah, the HCU Ultra starting around 750, the XA Ultra around 230. And the XA Ultra is an extremely well optimized phone. Uh, definitely one of the best mid rangers you can get. And you see here, HTC is up. And now Sony's up as well. So let's take a quick look at the outside of these phones. So I actually think I like the design of the front of the XA Ultra a little bit more. Um, smaller bezels, especially on the sides. But still both very nice looking. Now on the back, uh, the HC Ultra, definitely better material here. It's all glass. But also, of course, you could break it. Um, and then metals on the side. On the XA Ultra, it is more of a polycarbonate material, but pretty high quality, does not feel cheap. Alright guys, so let's get started. Heading over to that page, make sure everything's closed out. First up, we got Temple Run 2. So with the HTC, you have a Snapdragon 821 and 40 of RAM. That is the best uh, processor out there, best chipset. With the XA Ultra, MediaTek Helio P10 processor and 3GB RAM. Alright, so yeah, pretty consistently I think that the HC Ultra is around 4 or 5 seconds faster here. Actually, XA Ultra a little bit slower this time than normal. Usually it's a couple seconds faster than that. But regardless, HC's um, always loads up faster. Next up, CNN. All right, so pretty fast on both, but faster on U Ultra. I funny next. Again, U Ultra there. YouTube. U Ultra, but guys, you can see not much of a difference in terms of performance here. Calculator next, Quack, eBay, and we're going to check out some more stuff after this, including multitasking and camera speed. And another game here in Tudor, or rather, um, Asphalt 8. So both these phones, excellent front facing camera, 16 megapixels. Uh, I'll actually show you that a little bit later in the video. Or if not in this video, I'll do it in a later one. And you see the HC Ultra is up. And the Xperia is up as well. Alright, a few more to go here and then we'll move on to some more stuff. Photos next. ESPN. All right, both are up. Settings. So you guys, I think XA Ultra doing very well here considering that the HC Ultra is uh, definitely one of the fastest phones out there. And to do next. All right, so you're gonna see a pretty big difference in terms of gaming performance. Uh, you know guys, this is a mid-range chipset. So you have a score of around 50,000 here, 49,000 for the XA Ultra. And for the HTC, around 153,000. So yeah, I mean, you're paying three times as much, getting three times as much in terms of uh, gaming performance, in terms of Intuitu. But in terms of like real world use, I think it's a lot closer than that. It's not really three times. Uh, all right, let's check out some more stuff. Let's do Chrome. 
All right, so it's going to go a few sites here. IGN first. All right, so pretty close, but you guys saw there HEC, Yahoo. Very close, I think that, that okay, that's HEC just by a hair there on uh, Nintendo. And it will be pretty fun to do a comparison with the um, with the uh, XA Ultra 2 once that comes out. So you guys, four new phones are being revealed tomorrow. Uh, the XA Ultra, the XA Ultra, or rather the XA Ultra 2, the XA2, the Sony Xperia XCS, and the Sony Xperia XE Premium. All right, so Nintendo. All right, so again, pretty quick on both, but faster on HTC. And let's just do a couple more to CNN and then Fox. Actually, we'll do Sony for the last site. Sony USA. All right, so again, not much of a difference. Um, you know, you're talking like a couple of seconds, so I think pretty good performance there for the XA Ultra. Now, the XA Ultra is not a fingerprint scanner. The U Ultra does. I'll just show you how that works. So it's located right here. Extremely fast. Pretty well with the fingerprint scanner on this. Actually, this is probably my favorite finger scanner of any out there. I uh, think this and the OnePlus 3T. All right, let's do camera speed. So 21 megapixels uh, on the uh, Sony Xperia XA Ultra versus 12 on the HC. Both front facing of 16. So it looks like the HC obviously a little bit faster, but uh, almost twice as many megapixels for the XA Ultra. And let's take a quick look at the front camera of these. Alright, so I think I'll have an actual comparison on my channel later on, but you guys just saw a quick look there. Uh, you know, something outside when walking around. Alright, and so last, where's the new multitasking? Going all the way back to the beginning here. Let's reload Temple Run 2. So I gotta say the HC Ultra, this is probably the best multitasking phone I've ever used. Um, now it's actually pretty common for phones to reload it like the XC Ultra is doing right now. But as you see on HC, just going right to the page, not reloading at all. So some more specs, the XC Ultra screen is slightly larger, it's 6 inches, uh, the HC Ultra is 5.7, high resolution on HC Ultra 513 pixels per inch, 367 for the XA Ultra, again both front facing 60 megapixel cameras, rear facing 21.5 on the XA Ultra, uh, 12 on the HC U Ultra, CNN. YouTube.
All right, so this one actually rolls up faster on the uh, on the XA Ultra. Again, XA Ultra meet the Kirio P10 processor, three gigabytes of RAM. U Ultra Snapdragon 821, four gigabytes of RAM. Uh, fingerprint scanner on the HTC, not on the XA Ultra. Internal storage of 16 gigabytes on the XA Ultra. Uh, either. 64-128 on U-Ultra, both do have micro SD card support. Battery size, 2700 on the XA Ultra, 3000 on the U-Ultra. Um, micro USB on the XA Ultra, USB-C on the U-Ultra. Uh, no headphone jack on the U-Ultra, unfortunately. You do have that on the XA Ultra, you do have headphone jack. Um, and again, probably the most important stat, the XA Ultra is about one third the price at 230. The HD U-Ultra around 750. All right, we're just gonna check out a couple more apps here and then we'll be good. So you guys, if you wanna check out uh, future comparisons with both these phones and then of course the Sony Xperia XA Ultra 2, please subscribe, we'll be having a lot more in the future. That's Fold 8. And we'll just do one last one after this. So yeah, the EXA Ultra 2 rumored to have the MediaTek Helio P20 processor and 4 GB RAM. And let's do one final one. Hi, right, funny. All right, guys. So hope you enjoyed this video. Um, you know, obviously the HD Ultra did win the vast majority, just as expected. But it's more a matter of saying, you know, the XA Ultra, pretty fast phone. Like, if this is the best on the market or one of the best on the market with the HCU Ultra, you know, you're getting a pretty good deal with the XA Ultra at third price. All right, everyone, thanks again for watching. Please subscribe for more, and let me know in the comments what video you want to see next.